Um, and you had brought up Republicans attacking other Republicans, which leads us to the question of your opponent, who is also a Republican in this district, Carl Tamayo. Anybody who's watched this show knows we've done plenty of episodes on Carl Tamayo. Any comment on him as an opponent or what differentiates you from your opponent? Well, yeah, I mean, I think we are, we're very different in many ways, but I think the key distinction between uh, the two of us is, you know, I have had a record of success. I've beat tax increases. I've done things that on a school board, I've been elected to a school board that, that has been moving the needle. I want to build coalitions. I don't want to just scream on Fox News and then not present a solution. And so, you know, I also would like to qualify initiatives that I propose. You know, I recently read an article that he didn't turn out any signatures on any of the last five initiatives that he massively fundraised for. And so I'm, it's, I find that fascinating. And I would think his supporters would want to know that. So, but, you know, I think all of that comes down to I'm not doing this because, you know, just want to be in the assembly. I'm doing it because I want to make where I'm from better. I didn't have to move to the district. I didn't have to do any of those things. Oh, he did have to move. Oh, I know he didn't move. But I'm just telling you, you know, I didn't have to say I did that. I didn't have to come out with this, oh, I need to save the state and kind of what nonsense. I didn't have to say that. I just had to say, listen, I want to make things better. And I want to fix California. And I want to do that by building coalitions. My opponent has never built a coalition uh, that's not benefited him in his entire career. I've not seen it. And, and I've worked, I've worked around him for many years. Uh, so, I mean, and so that, that's where I think it's, we're different is I want to build coalitions to get things done and improve our brand. And one of the things that I've learned is you really have to find areas to deliver for your constituents. I don't want to be another placeholder that sits there and gets nothing done. I don't want to. And why go to Sacramento to do that? There are a lot of other things that people can do than go and run to be in the state assembly. And I'm doing it because I'm from this district and I want to see things get better because I'm tired of my friends leaving. I'm done with it. I'm over it. And I don't want to visit them in Phoenix or Tennessee anymore. <laughs> I like both of those places, but not as much as where I'm from. And so, you know, I think the key thing, though, is that that's really the difference between the two of us is that is that I want to see things get accomplished. Hence why I say when a man promises the world tomorrow, I ask him what he did yesterday. 